Have you ever wondered how you could train your spatial recognition to visualize objects in your mind? Hi, my name is Alan and this is Spatial Sense. In today's video, I'll be teaching you some fun facts and history about the cube. This is the first part in a 7 part series where I teach you to train your mind and spatial recognition by solving a 2x2 cube. So continue watching to learn some fun facts. The original cube was made in 1974 by Hungarian sculptor and professor of architecture Erno Rubik. He made the cube as a tool to teach his students about architecture. It is said that in March of 1970, another man by the name of Larry de Nikos had created his version of the 2x2 cube. He made it known as the puzzle with pieces rotatable in groups, and he had found a Canadian patent. When Erno Rubik released his 2x2 cube, Larry had sued Erno on copyright infringement and won the lawsuit. Erno Rubik's mechanisms and ideas are in all 2x2 cubes nowadays, and hence we know it as the Rubik's Cube. Larry's cube was held together by magnets, and it's a fascinating mechanism. The 2x2 cube has 3,674,160 possible combinations. Around 5% of the global population can solve a cube. The alternate name for 2x2 cube is known as a pocket cube, as it is smaller and easier than the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. If you would like to follow on this series, you can order a cube on Amazon or go to a local shop and purchase one. You can also go online to some retailers to purchase one. All the links relevant will be down below in the description. And next video, I'll be teaching you some locations of the cube to learn how to solve the cube. And that's all I have for you today. If you would like to learn more, if you like to see more, subscribe to this channel and make sure to turn on that notification bell so you'll know when the next one's out. My name is Alan, this is Spatial Sense, and I'll catch you in the next one.